Hi, right, everybody. Well, um, as we all know, months ago, the fantastic chat GBT, open AI uh, was made available to the public and everybody was raving about it. First music journalists that, that uh, realized that this thing would write what they are writing day in, day out uh, very effectively. And of course, uh, the next day after I heard about it, I uh, started trying it, right? And I was impressed, not overly impressed for academic writing, but anyway. So um, I just now had this experience that, that I want to share with everybody. Uh, so I'm sorry, this is not a prepared video. I just uh, snapshot it, snapshot, uh, captured. I just captured, um, the events, and I will talk you through that because it uh, makes me slightly reconsider what we have here. Uh, or maybe just as an as an introduction with uh, with ChatGPT, um, it seems possible, or it is possible, to create a very well written uh, text within seconds. Uh, if you ask the right questions, you will get the right answer. So. It should be possible for anyone to, if you already have a good structure, let's say for a master thesis, and you can formulate chapter by chapter, you can formulate the right uh, questions or requests for ChatGPT. You could you could uh, compile a well-written skeleton of this master thesis, and then of course you have to review it. And then of course the quality of your questions will uh, determine the quality of, of what comes out, right? So it's not like it's, it can write a complete master thesis for you. Uh, but it, it would be great support, especially if your English is not great, right? Why am I saying that? Um, however, I uh, I will demonstrate to you now <laughs> what I believe uh, would be a great application, what I believed until uh, now, or rather recently. So sorry about this really hands on approach here. So let me share this little presentation that I'm so well, as a background is uh, we are having a conference coming up and um I I and students of mine and uh, have and co collaborators have submitted a bunch of papers and this one uh, I have authored um it's about a, a neat project a wonderful project that that was finalized some time ago about uh, specifically developing, as you can see, a rain storage system for highland agriculture. So I'm super, super stoked about this. Uh, of course, it's it's mainly a design project. Um, I, I always feel kind of insecure to call design projects research, although there's, of course, always a lot of research involved. But anyhow, we believe it's uh, worth publishing on this beautiful upcoming Young Best conference hosted, among others, by King Monkos uh, Institute of Technology, Latkabang. And here you can see the, uh, the start of the first page of the uh, draft that I submitted uh, weeks ago. And they sent an email yesterday also that the paper was accepted with some reviewing comments, which I all accept as fair. I expected them to some degree. Uh, but then there's always time pressure and stuff. And especially when you work together with other researchers and you ask them to contribute their stuff, this is a difficult process. Anyhow, so I'm now talking about the first um, fair uh, comment by the reviewer, which I highlighted here. More reviewing literature on previous research that developed rain storage system should be added to uh, in the introduction part. Fair, fair. So here comes... Uh, that GBT open AI, I think that's a very fair question because, um, of course, we have done literature review in the past, but I wanted to know what Chat GBT has to say about that, right? So I had it over. Say, hey, buddy, hello. I am looking for academic publications about rain storage systems. Can you help me with that? And of course, within seconds, uh, an, an answer came, which looked great. Five. Five pieces is uh, is, is is wonderful number for a little uh, conference um, publication. Certainly, I can definitely help you with that. Sorry, I don't know the real voice of Chat uh, GPT. I'm just imagining it. It should talk like that. 
um, blah, blah, blah. Here are some academic publications that discuss rainwater storage systems. Then a list of five. Um, and the first one is good. I mean, of course, I also Googled other stuff, but the first one, design and analysis of rainwater harvesting systems in tropical countries. Now, ours is about highland agriculture in Thailand. I thought close enough. Must be interesting. Um, yeah, so here's the list again. I'm looking at the first publication. I will not discuss the others. Uh, Jong, Chong Ong and Seng in 2013 published in a very uh, wonderful uh, journal called Renewable and Sustainable Energy in volume 20, pages one to nine. Okay, great. I thought, wonderful. Well, let's see if uh, ChatGBT can do more for me. So I headed back to ChatGBT after, of course, I always say thank you to uh, to, to artificial intelligence, you know. Uh, you should always be polite, even if it's a robot, especially if it's a robot, they might rule us soon, right? And they will remember who was polite to them and who wasn't. Anyhow, so I said, fantastic, thank you first. And and he or she or whatever it is said, you're welcome. If you have any more questions or further assistance, feel free to ask. So after this offer, of course, I ask, actually, I do have another request. I would like to get the full text of the first publication on your list. But it seems it's not available on the internet. Uh, that was true, actually. I forgot. I googled it. Uh, all parts of that 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 reference, I, I couldn't find it, which is weird. So I asked, maybe you can find the link to that. And then, so I'll actually scroll down a bit here. ChatGPT uh, answered, I apologize for any inconvenience. Unfortunately, not all academic publications are available for free on the internet, which is true, of course. However, I can suggest some ways you may be able to access the full text for the article design and analysis of rainwater harvesting systems in tropical countries, a review by Chong Ong Tseng. And then I won't even read through that uh, because this is the same stuff I tell my students. You have a library, uh, you probably work in at a university. This is why this is fantastic. This is AI and and they, 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 whatever the the cosmos, the artificial intelligence, it understands that probably I'm some poor academic that's sitting in his office on a Saturday afternoon, uh, uh, reacting to a review of of a science paper. So they know I'm probably affiliated with the university, as it says here, and um, I, I, this university has license or has. has with all the journals, and I should be able to get it. All fair, this is what we all tell our students on a regular basis. I hope one of these options will work for you. Fantastic, I have to say. Wow, this is, I mean, honestly, I am already looking for other jobs because soon the university system will realize that ChatGPT tells students the same as I do. So I'm redundant. Anyhow, so uh, I did not do that because the library is closed. And anyway, uh, language barrier, and it's a Saturday, right? So, of course, I head over to the website of the journal, Renewable and Sustainable Energy Reviews. And uh, first, I use the search in this journal function, which you can see on the top here. Doesn't find anything. Uh, actually, the Google search would have revealed that if it wasn't there. So then I went over to uh, the list of the uh, issues or volumes. Um, 2013, indeed, uh, volume 20, this is true. Volume 20 was published in 2013, as the reference said, so I'll scroll down there. And then uh, click on volume 20, and I scrolled through the list of articles first, stupidly. I didn't find it, then I looked at the page numbers again, and I said it was at the beginning, pages four to nine or something, I forgot. And it's not there. There are other papers there. This article is not in this volume. So I thought to myself, that's weird. So I had it back to ChatGPT. I kept that thing open. And um, this is my next question. It says here, again, about the first publication on your list. I have checked the journal carefully, and this publication does not exist, not in volume 20. 
uh, of the German title and not in any other volumes. Puzzling, right? And then, uh, oh no, here's the answer. It answered it, 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 uh, sorry, I don't want to have anybody's feeling, including uh, artificial systems. Okay, so please don't start the gender discussion here. I apologize for the confusion. It is possible that I made an error in my initial response. What? That shouldn't be possible. You're a robot. You're okay. For, sorry, I did find a publication with a similar title and authors, but it seems that the volume number may be incorrect. The publication I was referring to is, and then it's the same publication, but now same journal, but now it's volume twenty nine instead of twenty and different pages six or eight to six seventeen. Of course, what did I do? Head back to the journal, go to volume twenty nine. Scroll through it, and this is the page area. No, it's not there. Of course it's not there. Why should it be there if it wasn't there the first time? So this is, honestly, I'm talking to a system uh, on a level, by the way, that, that I do not often, I'm sorry about this, but I do not often experience this level of discussion about these topics when I when I do them with my students. So anyway, it's satisfying, but now I realize that the system is doing the same stuff as my students when it comes to literature references, and, and maybe not only my students, but maybe a specifiable share in the academia, in the world of academia. So I'm heading back to ChatGBT. I where 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 am I? Oh, on the bottom. This is my reply. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Same here. I have checked with the journal. The publication also does not exist in volume 29. You're not making this up, right? Looking the artificial intelligence in the eye, which I believe is here, because by now I'm thinking it's watching me all the time. Now, here's what Ishi Ed said. I apologize for any confusion caused. I've been caught. It appears that my previous responses were incorrect. After conducting further research within microseconds, by the way, I could not find any publications by Chong, Ong and Seng with the title Design and Analysis of Rainwater Harvesting Systems in Tropical Countries, a review <laughs> in Renewable and Sustainable Energy Review or any other journal. I apologize for any inconvenience or confusion caused by my earlier responses. Please let me know if there's anything else I can help with you. Well, you just did. Thank you very much. This was the best entertainment I've had. Well, let's not specify that. Okay, I hope you find this uh, interesting and enlightening. I certainly did. And let's see where my mistake lies here. I'm sure I will have some sort of feedback about this. Love it. See you soon.